It's not easy when you have to cook for your place in this competition. And today, we ask you to deliver a delicious dish like we always do. But you had to decide, do you favour time or ingredients? Some of you definitely spent your time wisely. Others didn't. I'm devastated to be taking this dish into the judges without my broth. It was really beautiful. But I hope the quick sauce I've whipped up is enough to keep me in the competition. Benita, what is that? What's the dish? Prawn wontons and a prawn sauce. Wow, you are in the weeds, weren't you? I didn't keep my eye on my broth and I had a lid on it and didn't notice that all the stock had boiled away and it was a really good stock. So how would you fix it? Because you've got some sort of broth there. So I just started again with shells and prawns and heaps of coriander and ginger and I was you know, severely running out of time. So I blitz it all up to get maximum flavour and strained it. Fair enough. Good thinking. Good thinking. Mm. You've tried for so many years to get into this competition. You're here now. Is it tougher than you thought it would be? Yes, it's very intense, very mm. intense. But you know, for me, it's balanced really well by what I'm learning. It's an amazing experience. Oh, look, I'm actually really pleased you put something up. Yeah. And, and there's something to making mistakes and rectifying yeah. them that teaches you a lot. Definitely. So if it's not a broth and now it's a sauce, <laughs> the first thing that goes into my mind is there was enough in that pot to make a coriander prawn sauce. Sounds delicious. Yes. Right, Benita, time for us to taste. All right. Thank Thanks. you. Um, I like the wonton dough and the filling, when you get chunks of the prawn meat, it's delicious, but otherwise it's a bit... Where's the ketchup mayonnaise you bought, you know? There's a little bit of ketchup mayonnaise maybe in the sauce, but little drops of ketchup mayonnaise, little, little, little bits of maybe pickled coriander stem, you know, they're all the things you could have done. Could have added some texture and brightness to this dish. Yeah. This is very... But that was probably all in the pot, burnt. I mean, she put a lot of effort into that sauce, and I think, in the end, this dish is all about that crustacean broth, and, I, and I've got a funny feeling that all that flavour was lost, and, and that quick sauce is the result. Yeah. I'm amazed that she put up a dish. Having, you know, put herself in the position she did to be able to make a quick sauce, as much as we can criticise it, there's some work in there. Definitely. And it's amazing that she, she pulled herself together. Let's get the next dish in. I feel like I've really done myself and my kids proud today. Ben, what have you cooked? I've done uh, dory fillet with crispy skin shards, artichoke three ways and a vanilla bean hollandaise. All worked out as you'd planned? Yeah, it's what I envisioned, so happy. Okay. A lot of pressure on today, but love my time in the kitchen. It's, it's what I want to do. But why haven't you done it before, Ben? Why haven't you? <sighs> Just... With the kids, it would, would have been really hard to take on an apprenticeship to try to survive on that sort of money and look after all of them as well. Wow. Is it tough being away from must be very tough being away from you. It's tough, but they also give me strength. It's just gotten to the point where I've decided that this is what I want to do and I'll do what it takes to make it work. Thanks, Ben. Thank you. Thanks, guys.
I think the door is cooked beautifully. The most important thing is crisp skin and the fact that the flesh is still lovely and tender and moist. And I think he's prepared those artichokes beautifully. I think that's what I'm loving the most. I like the fact that he's done the artichokes in three different ways, which is, I think, is that sort of stuff. When you've got a challenge like this, you've got limited ingredients, you want yeah. a hero them. Yeah. He's done a great job. Yeah, he's great. He's even passed that whole day, so there's, you know, it's really smooth, really shiny. Showed lots of technique. We love that, don't you? Yeah. You, you, you get excited when they make the holidays. Yeah, they, look, they... holidays, turned and cooked yeah. artichokes. I think Ben's coming of age in this competition. Yeah. It's good to see. Right, let's get the next dish in. Done. Oh, what have you cooked? I've made a ginger steamed pudding with a Greek yogurt sorbet and a pistachio praline. When you set that plate down, you gave out a massive sigh. How are you feeling about this dish? I had different cakes that I'd cooked different ways and I pulled them all out. I just couldn't decide which one I wanted to actually pick. And I think that confused me more than maybe just doing one method. But I regretted putting the syrup on because when I look at it now, it's kind of dried up a little bit. It's crazy to think that my position in this competition relies on that one dish. Life is this incredible thing because you go along the way and suddenly you find something that you're good at and you just love it so much. Do you have that same sort of feeling? Yeah, finding food made me feel like I found myself. As I get better and better, it's like I'm realising who I am more and more. And even every day in this competition, I feel like I'm realising something about myself. And I don't want to let that go. Great. Shall we taste? Yeah. Nicole? Thank you. Thank you. best thing about this dish is that that wonderful crumbly praline pistachio um, and ginger combo at the bottom that kind of rubble cake I love it where the syrup soaked in um, but you boys you got a lot of dry dry cake there yeah and that's exactly right you can just taste sort of cake batter well um, you know it's it's not got that lovely sort of intense uh, gingeriness I've got a pretty clear idea of which two dishes are the bottom two, yeah. I reckon I also know who's going home. So do I. Absolutely. <sighs> it's not easy when you have to cook for your place in this competition. And today, we ask you to deliver a delicious dish like we always do. But you had to decide, do you favour time or ingredients? Some of you definitely spent your time wisely. Others didn't. Nicole, Aaron, Pete, Ben, Benita. Today, one of you will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen. Four dishes today showed beautiful flavour and great technique. But one cook took their eye off the ball, albeit for a moment. Sorry to say that that was Benita. Your emergency replacement source showed such great initiative, but on a day with some really good cooking, it just didn't cut it. I'm sorry. I'm really upset. Absolutely gutted. I'm shattered. I don't want to go home. At the moment, I'm just really cranky with myself. Benita, loved your smiles, loved your attitude, loved your experience, loved the fact that you bring a little brightness to this kitchen. And we hope to goodness that this is exactly what you thought it was going to be. We won't forget your cooking. What are you going to remember most? Oh, all these people. <laughs> We've had great times, yeah. Oh, 
Callan and I have lots of laughs. laughs. Nicole, you okay? Yeah, it's just Seth. I'm really gonna miss her. She brings a lot of life to a room, so yeah, she'll be missed. Yeah, absolutely. Benita, we hope that you've enjoyed every second in the MasterChef kitchen. It's a unique club, yeah, MasterChef 2017, and we wish you all the best. But now it's time to leave the MasterChef kitchen. Okay. <laughs> I've had the best time. It's the best experience. I've learned so many new recipes and ideas and techniques. I've learned so much. It means a lot that I've been a part of MasterChef.